Northwest Mobile PT here. So today we're talking about how practice does not make perfect. So if you are a athlete getting over an injury, if you're trying to progress your sport, progress your activity level, or just trying to get to a, another fitness level, this video is for you. So just recently a patient came to me with an ankle injury that had been bugging him for almost a couple months. He'd just been working on it himself and was getting nowhere with it. And, and we get into this practice does not make perfect model based on that. He's working at it, but getting nowhere. And in fact, practice is not helping him. Practice is actually hurting him because he's doing everything the wrong way. So practice was making permanent, making these problems kind of linger and stick around and not, not improve, not recover. Similarly, I was involved with a Facebook post or saw a Facebook post recently where someone asked about plantar fasciitis and probably got over 60 responses of, of different things to do. Roll on a, a frozen bottle, go to the chiropractor, go to the massage therapist, go to PT, PT helped me, chiropractor didn't help me, PT didn't help me, P PT did help me. Uh, get these shoes, get these, these boots to sleep in. You know, response after response, um, practice after practice for, for this, um, this person to, to do to, to fix their plantar fasciitis. And so unless she has just a ton of time to practice all of these things, she's really got her, her work cut out for her as far as what she's going to practice to get over this recovery, what she's going to practice to make that foot perfect again. So I had a high school soccer coach who used to tell us that the same thing, practice doesn't make perfect. Instead, he said, perfect practice makes perfect. And so the idea with, with my, my patient with the ankle injury or with this person posting about plantar fasciitis is that you've got to be doing the right thing. If you're not doing the right thing, you're going to set your, yourself up for failure. You're going to set yourself up to not succeed, to not recover, to not get to that next level like you want to. And so if you find yourself having that problem where you're just not progressing, you're not getting out of that pain, not getting away from that pain, get in touch with us. There's a saying that's, that's called, the, the rat doesn't always chew where he gets in, something along the lines of that. And so just because you're having pain in your foot doesn't necessarily mean that that's where the pain's coming from. So getting in touch with us, we're going to really kind of hone in, look at how you're moving, do an assessment with that movement, with that performance to make sure that there's nothing else causing that pain, no other problems um, in that chain that could be affecting creating that pain. So if you are having problems with progressing to that next level, think about just slowing things down to make sure you have the right form, the right technique. And, and then from there, build on that to, to put more load or more speed so that you can start to perform, perform at that higher level. Certainly, if we can help you, get in touch with us. We'd be happy to help you get back to doing what you enjoy.